being from New Zealand, what's the biggest like culture change, if anything, like coming from New Zealand to America to play basketball? Um, it wasn't a huge culture change because we've got a big like Australian New Zealand presence in the team already. But I'll say the food is the first thing that sort of like threw me off a bit. And what's it like to have another uh, New Zealander on your team? It's amazing. It's just like bring a little bit of comfort from home. Like just someone who's familiar with like slang and all that sort of stuff. Let's make it a little bit easier. Uh, George, your uh, game, like you're out there hustling, you're grabbing rebounds, you're playing defense. Like, what's that mentality that you try to bring going into every game? Uh, it's just kind of grit from where I'm from. I'm from Chicago, and it's a, a toughness that is instilled in us from a young age. So it's something I bring with me with everything I kind of do in life. Are there any players in the NBA or anyone that you, like, try to model your game after, or, like, that you draw inspiration from? Or uh, Obviously, there's a lot of Chicago players that I Patrick like, Beverly. Pat Bev. Uh, we got D. Rose, Jabari. It's a lot of guys that just growing up, I've seen with my own eyes that inspire me to just keep playing this game and, and going hard. Uh, Callum, like uh, there's a big improvement from your game from last season to this season. You're, you've shown a big jump in terms of what you're able to do on the court. Take me into a little bit of how you were able to like get from like freshman year to sophomore year and like the improvement that you've shown. I think I'm in mode. Most of it is just confidence. Like my confidence has improved. My teammates have more confidence in me. So my coaches. So I think just learning through like playing last year because I played a lot of minutes because I was just given that opportunity I guess last year. So I, I learned a lot, and now I was like first year. So I, I think through it. And how do you guys try to balance being a student with being an athlete? You guys have to take midterms to study, do homework, stuff like that. But then you guys also have games. You guys have practices weight training, a bunch of other stuff that you guys have to fulfill as being you know, athletes as well as being a student. So how do you guys try to balance it? Uh, uh, it's probably just organization. We just try to stay on like a routine and our days are kind of mapped out so we know what time we have to be at certain places. So from there, just trying to work in your own schedule within the schedule of the team is important. And when we do, miss class our teachers are usually really good and help us out like we email them and talk to them beforehand like at the start of the quarter and they yeah they help us out a lot so yeah. uh do you guys have like game day routines like uh i know like a lot of nba players they have like they take a nap and they uh, have like a certain song they listen to a certain snack do you guys have any of that that you guys like to follow or is it just like whenever game day happens it's just like whatever happens that day? Uh, i like to get like a work Work it, work out in before the game, so like two hours before. Other than that, not really. I just sort of go with the flow. Yeah. Uh, same. I mean, I got like a, a game day playlist uh, that I listen to, but other than that, just try to prepare for each game and go out there and be ready. What type of songs you listen to? Uh, I mean, I love where I'm from, so I got a lot of artists from from Chicago, like uh, G Herbal, uh, Lil Durk. Like, I, I like rap, so. Uh, what do you guys wish to pursue after college? I know it's like long way, a little bit ways from now, but like, or have you guys even thought about that at this point? Because you guys still have like a little bit of time, but do you want to pursue something after basketball, like a professional career in basketball, or do you want to like, uh, you want to join my side, be a journalist, <laughs> or do you want to broadcast or do something completely outside of athletics? Uh, so I definitely want to pursue like pro sports, but I know that won't last forever. But to be honest, I haven't really thought about after sports. I haven't like come up with something that I really want to do yet. So I'm still looking for that. Same, definitely want to uh, play professionally and uh, just follow entrepreneurship and, and be a, a brand in myself. Probably that. You guys did UFC training in the off season. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, take me into like what that was like doing UFC training for preparing you for the season? Uh, it, was, it was fun, but it was intense. I mean, the guy didn't, didn't take it easy on us at all, so it just pushed us to mentally just know how to push through the hard times and, um, and just work hard with each other around, so that was a good experience for me. Yeah, it was definitely tough. That was one of the hardest sort of like workouts I've been in. We're in a big like warehouse sort of thing and no AC, so 
So it was like really hot, middle of summer. So it was definitely mentally challenging, which I think showed a little bit in our like game this year. About how many hours a week do you guys spend practicing? And how many hours do you spend like at the gym doing a workout? Uh, I'd say actual practice, 10 hours maybe. And because in season it's sort of like rolled back, so like 10-ish, that's like with the team then, that's not counting your own workouts and stuff. Weights we do two to three hours every two, three, four hours, depending on the week. And yeah, that's not including our own stuff, so we spend a lot of hours. Obviously, like being an athlete, like you want to be healthier than I would, because I don't eat healthy. <laughs> but do you guys like, uh, like try to eat certain foods or? You guys eat unhealthy because I interviewed uh, some of the players, like Janin and yeah. uh, Marina. Like Jan is like she kind of sometimes doesn't eat as healthy as she could be. But do you guys eat healthy? Try to eat healthy. Uh, I definitely try to eat healthy. Um, I try to go to Trader Joe's and just cook some stuff at home just to make sure I'm like controlling whatever, whatever I'm eating. But sometimes it's hard just because you don't have a lot of time, so you gotta kind of grab something that's quick accessible. Yeah, I'm the same way. I try to like stay healthy, but sometimes when you only got like 30 minutes in swim classes, you just want to grab something quick. So, yeah, we try to, but it's hard sometimes. Are there any like uh, specific like New Zealand dishes that you cook or you just eat American food? Nah, I just eat American food. I've been transformed into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much sleep do you guys usually try to get before a game? Eight, nine hours before a game. Try to get like really good sleep, so we're rested. And then in between, so like shoot around and actual game, we try to get like a nap usually. Just try to sleep an hour or so. Yeah, definitely. I agree with it. What do you guys do to motivate yourself when you feel like you want to quit or you don't want to keep going? How do you keep yourself going? Um, for me, I talk to my family a lot. Um, I'm one of the more fortunate people in my family to even go to college so um, that just motivates me to keep going and knowing that they watch me and just fuel me to just continue going on. Uh, I rely on my teammates a lot. I don't want to like let them down so I just want to like keep pushing through for them. Same with my coaches. Just want to like keep pushing through. And what uh, how has Coach Patrick helped you guys like uh, assimilate into UCR basketball and the culture overall and trying to build this culture? Uh, we like both came in like with him, like so his first year was our first year, so we sort of like knew his expectations and we like, well I was like freshman, so I knew, I didn't know anything else in college basketball, so that just made it easier to sort of follow him and yeah, carry on with him. Definitely, uh, like you said, we came in with Coach Patrick, so we came in with the same mindset of just wanting to win and bring a culture to, to Riverside that they didn't have before. All right, and uh, my last question, is there anything that you guys want people to know about yourselves that they might not know? Or is there anything? <laughs> Any interesting fact or? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I am, you get what you see. I'm a, a cool person. I enjoy it out here in California and uh, I've been having a great time this whole experience. Yeah, I think I'm the same. I'm pretty much like normal. Well, tall. I'm a New Zealand dude, so I mean, yeah, I'm friendly. I can, people can come.